you are welcome back to this channel in this video tutorial we'll be solving the remaining graph questions for the WASI 2022 so question 6 and question 9 on quadratic functions and trigonometric functions quadratic graphs and trigonometric graphs now if you have not yet subscribed please remember to do so because more videos will be coming and if you subscribe you'll be notified when a new video is uploaded so to begin let us look at the question number six the student is to copy and complete the table for y equal 2x squared plus 3x minus 7 for the interval negative 4 to 2 inclusive. So we can see the table for x and y values. So using the relation y equal 2x squared. Using this relation, we are going to fill in the table. So this is the relation. When x equal negative 4, we substitute for x into the relation. And this will give us this substitution. And when we evaluate, we obtain y to be 13. So we put 13 for x equal negative 4. We repeat the same process. So I want you to try for negative 2, negative 1, 1 and 2. And you should obtain these values. So in the exam hall, you can show 1 or 2. Then that's okay. The rest, you can use your calculator to fill in the rest. Okay, now we are done with filling in the table, copy and complete the table. We are done with that part. Now let's come to the B part. Using a scale of 2 cm to 1 unit on the X axis and 2 cm to 5 units on the Y axis, draw the graph of Y equal 2x squared plus 3x minus 7 for negative 4 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 2. So this is our graph. We have our y axis here and we have the x axis here. Now We have our we have, we have to plot our table of values. We have to plot our table. So negative 4, 13 will be located right here. Then negative 3, 2. So negative 3 on the x-axis. Then we move two units up. So that will give us this point here. Then negative 2, negative 5 will give us this point. Then negative 1, a negative 8 will give us this point. Then this one will give us this point here. Then this one will give us this point. Then 2, 7 will finally give us this point. So after plotting, we just have to draw a smooth curve through it. So make sure you use the the scale given so we have two centimeters to five units on the y axis so we move at intervals of five on the y axis and intervals of one on the x axis so we draw a smooth curve mm -hmm. that's it smooth curve through it 
and this is how our quadrat our quadratic graph for the given range should be looking. So this is the C part. Use the graph to find the roots of 2x squared plus 3x minus 7 equals 0. So for this part, we just have to look at where the graph intersected the, the x axis. So over here and over here. So the roots will be since on the x axis we have one two centimeters is to one unit it means each box is 0 0.1 so we have one two three boxes here three boxes here so it means x equal x equal 1.3 or then over here to each box is 0 0.1 so we have one two three four five six seven eight boxes so negative 2.8 negative 2.8 then the b the i i part the relation is 2x squared plus 5x minus 14 so we have to rewrite this relation to look like this. So we have 2x squared plus 5x minus 4. If you consider the 5x, we need to subtract 2x in order to get 3x. Then if you consider the negative 4, we need to subtract negative 3 in order to get a negative 7. But whatever we do to the left hand side, we have to do to the right hand side. So that is giving us this, this relation. So it means 2x squared plus 3x minus 7 is now equal to negative 2x minus 3 for this relation here. So when we compare, we have y to be equal to negative 2x minus 3. Now um, we have to graph this relation on the same axis on the same graph sheet. So let's draw a quick table here. So when x is 0, uh, y will be negative 3. When you put 0 here, you get negative 3. Then when y is 0, when you put 0 here and solve, you get x equal to negative 1.5. So we brought these points these points on the same graph sheet so 0 negative 3 0 negative 3 will be somewhere here then negative 1.50 negative 1.50 will be somewhere here so we draw a straight line through it and this is what we have. So we have to now trace onto the x axis. So when we read this, you can see that we have x to be either equal to negative 3.1 here. Or x is equal to over here we have 0 0.5, 0 0.6. So x equals 0 0.6. Now, question 9 we have to copy and complete the table of values for y equal 2 cos x plus sine x for a given interval. 0 degrees to 360 degrees inclusive and this is the table so like we did for the previous graph the same thing we are going to do here or we do a similar thing so we pick the function and substitute x equal 45 so that will give us y equal 2 cos 45 
plus sine 45 and this is giving us y equal 2.1213 but in the table you can see all at one decimal places so at one decimal place we have y equal 2.1 so we fill in the box the missing values just like we did for the other question so we come to the b part using a scale of two centimeters to 45 degrees on the x axis then two centimeters to one unit on the y axis so we have to draw a graph of this so let's take the graph we have the x axis here we have the y axis here so we have 0 45 90 135 then on the y axis we have 0 1 2 3 then negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 so we have the the tables the values in the table that we need to plot so if we plot this one we get this we get this curve so we plot the points like we did and draw a curve through it we get this curve for the trick function so it's similar to the first one now this is what we have to do next we have to find a minimum value of y equal okay, on the same graph sheet we have to draw the graph of y equal 1 so y equal 1 is this horizontal line y is equal to 1 then we have to find the minimum value of y equal 2 cos x plus sine x so the minimum value of the curve so you see this is the minimum value here it's okay somewhere here the minimum value is the last point or the minimum points the least point on the graph so that point each of the points or each of the boxes is point 0.1 so this line here is negative 2 so we have 1 2 1 2 and something small beyond the box 2 so we can say it is approximately the minimum value is approximately y equal negative 2.2 y equal negative 2.2 that will be correct so if you get negative 2.3 that will not be wrong then we come to The last one values of x for which 2 cos x plus sine x minus 1 equals 0 so we have to rewrite this equation to look like this so when you do that you see that you're going to get 2 cos x plus sine x is equal to 1 so it means we look for the intersection of this function and y equal 1 y equal 1 so this function is what we just drew this one then the y equal 1 is also this one so where the intersected is this is where the intersected and we drop it onto the x axis to find those values so you can see that one of the value is one of the value is 90 degrees over here then we have two boxes after three 315 degrees and we know that each of the boxes here on the x axis is 45 over 10 which is 4.5 so we add two boxes which is nine 9 plus 315 and that should give us 3 
two four degrees so the values for of x for which two cos x plus sine x minus one equals zero is either 90 degrees or three to four degrees so we thank you very much for watching this video and in our next video we will be considering in our next video we will consider this paper considering this paper we consider this paper so please make sure you keep in touch we will consider this paper so these are the questions that we will be solving solving all these questions so please if you have not subscribed yet just click the subscribe button so that when I upload the videos you will be informed and also add it to your favorite playlist if you have not done so yet okay so thank you so much for your time. We hope to see you in another video.